Welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break, your home for current community talk, with Patricia Duart, Darlene Hayes, and Connie Wright. Hello and welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break. I'm here with my friends and so glad to see you. It's summer. It's summer and it's going so fast. I, hate yeah. to, I can't believe it. It's already mid-July. I can't believe it. Yeah. You know, we got our vacation in early. and I. But I don't want that to be the end of the summer. No, oh, no. I tell you. Well, so, so it is summertime and um, I know you just did your vacation. You got to go. For like a couple weeks. Yeah, it feels like at the end of the earth, you know. I'm not, as we can go places close by in New England, so <clears throat> we do the we did the two week around the vineyard, uh, family house rental, bring the car, fill it up, the whole thing. Heaven, beautiful week, beautiful weather, um, just a great time, just a great time away. So, and you go to the vineyard frequently, almost yeah, every, every year. year. Yeah, pretty much. Um, and you go to the same place, same town, oh, same the, spots. You see people yeah. that you know. That's the thing. It's like it's almost like if little Hopkinton were on the ocean. I mean, it's just we go to um, Oak Bluffs, uh, and we let, we rent an East Chop, which you know vineyarders will know exactly what I'm talking about. And what I love about it, it's like going back in time, and that's probably the feeling of the Cape in general. But the thing about and some people don't like the vineyard. Amazingly, there are people who are much more like hotelers, mm -hmm. and they want you know maid service every day and, and all of that. And they have that, I imagine. We just don't go like that. It's like. I call it expensive camping, <laughs> you know. Glamping. Like, yeah. But you're in a yeah. home for, we're you're in, not. We, no, 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 but we're, in, you know, we're in a rented house. It's got all your grandmother's old furniture in it, but lovely. This is, this is a big rambling place, you know, three bedrooms, two baths, big outdoor shower, beautiful flowers around. But, you know, these houses aren't insulated or whatever. You know, the winds are whistling through. There were a couple storms Yo, that's over right. the week. And, you know, so it was fun in the middle of the night to see the trees swishing. Does and it have a ocean. fireplace or something? It has a fireplace. Um, but, you know, it's, you can tell that the owners, they put in their old family furniture in there. It's just a hot, but cute, just vintage old. Well, we've cute. seen that even on the Real Housewives page where some of these um, how women in town have um, cape homes yeah. and they've been posting looking for old dressers looking for this and that yeah. because they're like you know you're not investing the same kind of furniture as your, right. se it's your second home yeah. and it's exactly you know cute throw rugs and, and, and bookshelves so people you know um, every house is usually stocked with wonderful reading material and and board games and puzzles and board games puzzles and no internet <laughs> you know which or, is you know, not a bad internet, thing yeah, which not is a not a bad, bad thing. thing it's not so, a bad thing so so when you go down there are there favorite restaurants you go to favorite things you do every time or is it oh. always different oh thanks yeah um, it's pretty much the same that's what I love about it I mean we just roll in um, yeah that we we do the same Circuit Ave is like you know the, the spot where you're shopping around and Oh, you know, our favorite coffee shops and, and fried clam place and, you know, oh, but one of the hot spots, I had the fact, this, Lola's has come back and Lola's was an establishment on the vineyard that um, great music, uh, Cajun soul food, um, delicious hearty portions and Lola's had been, had been a, you know, an establishment for years on the vineyard. Um, they sold out, another ent entity came in, it was fine, whatever, but Lola's is back. And it, it's just like packed and, and packed. And Jay, I was out, one of the posts I put on there, I mean, I was up till four in the morning, ah! which is totally not. Sorry. Funny. Not that the place stays open that late, but we were having so much fun with Throwback Thursday and this DJ, you know, that folks that we were partying with came back to the house, so we were having a little cocktail party impromptu. It's that kind of place, and uh, oh. you know, I haven't had real shoes on in two weeks. So. Oh, I love it! I love it! I love it! So, so the, um, it? yeah, yeah. And you always you, go. Your to work it. sounds like vacation to no, those of us who aren't doing work. it every day. Then. <laughs> no, yeah, let the look, the look it's not work. Right? It's, it's work. It's not. It's not, not vacation. vacation. I know. I, I, you barely sleep. We. Um, as most of you guys know, I work in World Team Tennis, so July is our season. So. Um, you don't sleep yeah. and stuff, but um, I am home for a few days. We, we've gone through the first week. The team's on the road for about four days, so I'm home for a few days and then back up there for about another week and a half, and then we'll wind out the season. Right now we're in first place in the division. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but um, but when, you, when that we runs go to the, down... We go to the same place every year. We go to Wells, Maine. Yes. We, you know, we're one mile from one beach, one mile from a different beach, and we do the same things pretty much. Yeah. Eat at the same restaurants. We, we cook it. We actually cook at my parents' condo a lot. Mm -hmm. um, we do, you know, there's a 
place that we get lobsters from one time and we Yellow. bring them back to the condo. Yeah. Um, we do dry sea scallops and stuff on another day. We'll oh. do usually one day trip to Old Orchard, which is literally, we call it a day trip, it's 20 minutes away. <laughs> and, and it takes, you know, it takes us 25 minutes or so to get to, you know, Portland. So we'll spend a day in Portland. We'll do like the whole Freeport LLB oh. thing is about 35, 40 minutes tops. It is well and located. So, yeah, and it's good because it's it's a little bit quieter than some of the other towns. You know, it's in between a Gunkwood and Kenny Bunkport, okay. and it's yeah. known as um, Museum um, Antique Mile. So it's oh. got more antique shops on Route One than in a strip of about two to three miles than anywhere in the entire country. Really? How long does so, it take to get, to get up there? How um, long is it up a drive it's from here? One hundred and one miles door to door for me. So two so, hours? Yeah, just shy of that. Okay. Depends. I mean. You know, we actually kennel our dogs most of the time up there. Okay. So um, there's a place where we can like video cam and see them. The kids sometimes go visit them. We may actually pull them out for like a go go day. run a beach yeah. or something. Not a day. I'm not taking them for a day. <laughs> but what I'm paying for them to be at a kennel. But yeah, we do the same things. Um, I mean, immediately when we come back, it's it's you know Andrew off to college mode this year, so yeah. it's a whole different kind of thing because he has to check in on August 15th. So we're actually coming back time. a day or two earlier than we normally would. Yeah. And you leave today. Today. So um, I'm, by the time this airs, I'll be back. But, <laughs> right. but um, yeah, we don't go every year, mm -hmm. but we frequently go to the Outer Banks. Mm -hmm. And I like to say OBX is a lot like what the Cape used to be. You go to the beach and there's 50 yards between you and the next gaggle of people, oh. wide open. Um, I've not never a, been to the Outer Bay. So I haven't either. It, mm -hmm. And we go all the way down to Hatteras Island, and we even go halfway. We were really close to the famous lighthouse on, uh, on Hatteras oh, Island. Sure. Um, and this year is, uh, we're actually getting seven houses. We usually <laughs> go with a couple of cousins, so usually three houses. But my mom turns 90 this year, so mm -hmm. we're turning it into a 90th birthday party for my mom. Ah. Um, my mom's one of seven children, and none of her siblings are alive. And she and five other siblings had children. So I have at least one cousin from all of her siblings who had children coming, and some multiple cousins, and their children, and of wow. course my siblings. So there's great grandchildren, grandchildren, great nieces, great great nieces. It's gonna be a party. It's, That's gonna be a and, huge event. And it's huge. We're doing a big dinner um, Monday night. Uh, we typically tend to do house dinners mm -hmm. and maybe do one night out. This we're gonna have a bunch of house dinners and we have a big formal dinner. But I love the beach. We go to the beach and the kids have kind of grown up doing this over mm -hmm. the years with their cousins. And it's been interesting as we've moved from small children doing more beach activity to now the cousins go out and come back late and sleep on the sure, beach. That's what's fun is having and the and different and age groups. And if their parents run out of line, they can actually go buy for you. Yes, exactly. They're, <laughs> now, yeah. they're, uh, they're now all legal. That's they can, exactly what's fun with, that, with our they group. Can be, that's, so. all right, that's all right if you want to stay out a little while. But while on your way back, can you pick up two bottles of Chardonnay? Pick up the St. Germain. And actually what's so funny is a lot of the times they don't even go out. They're just, where they right. go, you know, to now, Two of the kids have houses. Mm -hmm. So they go, like, those are the kids' houses, and now we have kids that have grown up that have children. So those are the old fogies' houses, and right. then we have those of us that don't have grandchildren. And then we have the adult party house. And, and, right, and right. it's not all about partying. I mean, we sit down, and, and it's a just lot of just talking and being so all together. all three of your kids are going. All three of my kids are going. I, and the dog. Mm -hmm. We have a oh. lot of dogs in the family, so mm -hmm. this will be um, a lot of, there'll be a dog house with, you know, that activity. So how are the houses furnished? I'm just curious if how different they are or not from the vineyard spots. So um, these houses have all been built in the last 20, 30 years. Okay. Some of them more recently because it is the Outer Banks and they get hurricanes that sweep through. <laughs> and the islands have been, you know, suddenly a Long Island is made into two islands. Right. So, you know, that that's an issue. And that's why we've never bought down there because yeah. I think those houses are temporary. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the furniture is what I would call absolutely 
beach vacation style, mm -hmm. you know, think Ikea. Okay. Uh, That's exactly what I was going to say. Yeah. Like, That's kind of modern anyway, yeah. Modern, or, and it might be beach, it might be wicker furniture. Very um, clean lines. Very clean lines, okay. very simple, very open Hot space. Hot Beach has a huge group that goes down there during April vacation. And so oh. we've all looked at homes and thought, and a couple of years ago, we almost did the road trip. And that's what, and every, every time I looked, I'm like, that's from Ikea, that's from Ikea. <laughs> so it, how long of a drive is it to, to get where so you're going? So if we don't have traffic and drive straight through, it's a 12 hour drive. Darn. But we do it because mm -hmm. otherwise, you're, the closest airport is Norfolk, yeah. and you can't, it's really hard to get there directly. So yeah. you're changing planes anyway, then you're renting a car, and we always end up driving because the halfway point have been some really interesting places. Mm -hmm. um, so over the years, we've stopped in Baltimore, D.C., sure, Philadelphia, sure. Maybe spend the night. Eastern Shore. Mm -hmm. um, and then we load up all the boogie boards, all the towels, all the beach sure. equipment, the umbrella, the chairs. And so that way, because they, you know, they have an whole industry down there. You can rent all that stuff yeah, for right. a penny. But oh, this yeah. way, I've got the carrier on top. Sure. You know, um, the dog's inside the car. Cool. <laughs> See, that's good old-fashioned fun. I mean, because even like the vacation movie when uh, the dog didn't make it inside the car. Yeah. Well, was that Chevy, <laughs> Chevy Chase or something? Like no, no, that. yeah. So, so. Um, but you don't have to take a ferry to where you're going. No. You straight. Um, we could. Mm -hmm. But that would be the long way around. Okay. Um, there is one of the islands that's only accessible via ferry, Ocracoke, mm -hmm. and there's two ferries, one that goes from Hatteras, one that goes from the mainland. But we just go across a bridge, and then you go off across a sequence of other bridges and finally get to where you're coming to. It's like people not realizing Newport's actually an island. Right. Yeah, and stuff right. like that, because you get there by bridge, but it's an, it's island. an island. It's yeah. detached from the whole state yeah. of Rhode Island. It is the, it's the island of... That's why Newport, Rhode Island is yeah. called yeah. Rhode Island is because of Newport. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so many beautiful places around here. I tell you, as a Midwesterner, born born and raised, I don't, I mean, you know, married and lived here so, so many years. I still am so excited about the, the beauty of New England. Now, other places, of course, are as well. Um, nah, but not I love so much. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they are. I just like being able to drive, you know, because. You know, this flying around, I mean, there's some, I, you know, I guess I'm not that big of a traveler. I have to, had to accept that about myself, honestly. And as, as limiting, I like to be in other places. I just don't like that getting there process is becoming more and more of a hassle. I, well, I like it when we're able to drive places too because it also gives us a little bit more flexibility. Freedom. We have yeah. a car, it's like, oh, it's raining, let's go do this instead. We can go hit a museum. It's up where sometimes when you, you hit a resort, we hit that. That's where you are. Right. I mean, we right. you, you know when we've done like the Caribbean, they, pretty much that's where you are. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I agree. I, and, and being in New England, I mean, in addition to our big vacations, um, I have to tell you, there is so much to do. I love going into Boston and being a tourist in Boston. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, so, I still have never been to Nantucket. Oh, I just went once. So I've only been once fan. too. Yeah. But yeah. I've never been to the vineyard. We should definitely but, make a big trip. But on the least. page, people were asking for good lobster. Now, <laughs> yes, you can go. But I will tell you, if you've never been to downtown Boston and gone to James Hooks, I love that spot. And it's so much fun because they get their lobsters fresh daily. They have a huge tank back. They had a bigger space before oh, for so the I fire. Oh, I have shout out. Yeah, but, <laughs> but you can go there, you can buy already cooked lobsters, but you can pick out your, your uncooked lobster. You can get giant 10 pound and 20 pounders. I typically go for the two yeah. pounders. Yeah. Um, but you can all already have them cooked and clean. They do other food, um, seafood. In that they little have, spot that's just sort of right yep. there on, what's that, Atlantic yep. Avenue? or Right there on Atlantic yep. and I think Congress. Right. Don't hold me to it. But then what's fun is then you can walk around the seaport. And the seaport has so much good stuff. Uh -huh. The ICA is there. The Children's Museum's there. Um, a ton of restaurants. You can take the ferry from there. To Provincetown, yes, and I've do a done day that. trip you to can Provincetown. Take the from there to Salem now, and, yeah, really? and you have yeah. access. Um, don't hold me to it, but isn't one of the ferries to one of the barrier islands in Boston Harbor? You mean right George's there? Island. Oh yeah, yeah the yeah, ferries right go to all those. Oh, well, George's so. Island's a free day island. It's a state. It's a free it's state, state park. Yes, it's a yes. state park. But there's several of them out there. In fact, the um, I did some work with the uh, Boston Harbor Association, and that's where I, my eyes were opened about these lovely islands that you take the ferries to. In fact, I posted that in terms of an idea for somebody yeah. looking for something to do with kids that was a little different. 
Well, well Thompson so Island does an Outward Bound program. They that do. the Boy Scouts have camped yeah. on these islands. And, right. and so I'm just saying, you know, for a weekend, go into Boston. Right. You can start or end your day at all these wonderful places, and then you can do excursions even from there. The aquarium, oh, exactly. um, you know, is right there. You can do whale watching. Mm -hmm. You can get on one of the whale watching I cruises. still never done one of those duck tours either. That I did that a lot once. Of fun. We did that once yeah, too. I want, I, and, stuff, and I've never done the swan boats. I've been I have not done a I've swan boat. I've done the swan. I've seen and them. And I've been I've wanting to do them for years yeah. and stuff like that. Because I actually like walking through the public gardens and yes. some of the, yes, the love, different statuary. It's so and love then, beautiful and, right and now. There's little, like, hidden gems in there too of yes. like statues to people or little things yep. and there a lot of them are things about children's books that are yes. hidden in there. Well the little ducks. Make way for ducklings right. is and right there. Frog, there's an the Alice in Wonderland is yeah. from yeah. the, the frog, frog is from pump. Alice in Wonderland. Yep. Yeah. And stuff Boston like that. is magical in the so summer. Speaking of lobster, if you actually do a day excursion to the North Shore, oh, okay, awesome. we gotta go north. Yes. Yes. Is Woodman's of Essex. Woodman's um, is awesome. It, it's a um, yes they are a sponsor Woodman, of mine yeah. but the um, Woodman's has been in business for 101 years. Family They actually invented the fried clam. Oh, Charlie Woodman invented the fried clam. They're gluten free to. They have a whole gluten free menu. And on a Saturday afternoon, the line will be about a half mile long. It's all picnic style. Um, it is in the book a thousand one things you need to do before you die Woodman's it's, is in there. Uh, um, and it, it, we did a Woodman's. Um, clam bake at my house and they mm -hmm. catered it once but then we went up there with the kids and did crane speech but went to Woodman's a ball wow. so you know when you pull into Woodman's and you see that clam shell and it's yeah. in front of a gray building mm -hmm. that's where the third generation women's live and ah. then there's another house they all live right there and so that's a right so it's like wow. you know we not when I call up to talk to someone I'm like can I speak with Rhonda Woodman can I speak with Steve Woodman <laughs> it's still the same family yeah. and they keep that they have within with Woodman last names. Not saying there are other. When I talked to Steve Woodman last week, thirty-seven Woodmans are wow. still are on payroll right now. Wow! Yeah. Well, nothing says well, New England like it. That's sure. you know that's a neat. And from there, I mean, you're ten minutes from Gloucester. There's all these other things to do. Which is wonderful. But, um, I lobsters? Actually, I actually, oh yeah. You the Boston go, Lobsters? Well, by the time this ends, our season will be just about air ending. But yeah, the Boston Lobsters tennis play about three miles away in Manchester by the Sea, which actually doesn't have a whole lot you can do. You can walk around, it's a little kind of quaint. But it's, but it's close right. to Woodman's, because I've never three miles to see, away yeah, we'll walk from Woodman's. right there, which is but, so um, much fun. See, I, I need to explore, because we tend to go south and south shore and whatnot, but I don't know the north shore, and I'd love to go to Gloucester, to Marblehead. Gloucester has, you know, a, it's none of these little, like, as much as you think and you look at a map that they're all close, they are not. Really I know. That close. I know. So like Rockport, and that's and a big adventure. It's a little bit you, you yeah. whole different direction. Marblehead, yeah. there's no easy way in, no yeah. easy way out. But once you're there, you can walk and do some stuff. Yeah. yeah. And um, but one of the ones that's actually fairly easy to walk and you can do have a lot of fun is Salem. I and love doing Salem. Salem in the yeah. summer. You still yes. get a waterfront. They have beaches. They have historic stuff. There's always live music playing. From a, the Peabody, from what morning and the and Peabody, Peabody Essex Essex Museum is fabulous. Ha, ha, yes. has great exhibits. And of course, um, you get all the Salem witch oh, exhibits. I, you know, and, 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 and I mean, I was just there for two weeks ago, three weeks ago, for some event on a Saturday afternoon, and they still have those aud oddities going on where you can take. Fun. Yeah, but um, but. I couldn't go a block without a live musician playing by the street corner and stuff like that, which is always fun. I House mean, of I have, Seven Gables is there. I have there. a favorite Mexican an idea for restaurant us, called um, the Howling Wolf Taquita. Yeah. And um, you can sit, it's right across from the Salem Firehouse, so it's on a main street. And um, you just kind of just kind of sit and people, people watch. watch. I eat outside at the bar. They have an outside bar, and I put the kids there, and we just kind of watch it and stuff like that. And it's fun. Yeah. So much to do, so much to do. Yeah. And then, you know, we're back to thinking it's about mystic. Rhode Island, I, I, you know, Southern Rhode Island, South oh. County, Newport. Oh, my God. All that. Yeah, it's Newport has a lot going on this week, too, because it's the International Tennis Hall of Fame. That's right. And, oh. and tomorrow is Induction Day. Oh, okay. So, um, oh, so much beauty. Uh -huh. It's everywhere. Yeah. It's everywhere. So I want to hold on, like, by <laughs> summer. to summer. Like, and it's kind of the last summer for us with the kids. With yeah. both of them. Um, with both of yeah. them and Andrew. Because after that, you know, I think he comes home for part of the summer. But Mass Maritime, the kids get out the third week in June. Yeah. And they go back. After the freshman year, they go back. The They don't, you don't see them essentially. Third or fourth year. week in um, August. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, freshmen start the second week in August, but um, so our summertime really gets sure. shortened up. I mean, he will actually get out of college at the same time Melissa's getting out of high school. Yeah, like, well, that's good for planning parties. For planning <laughs> stuff, because normally the kids are out in like early May. Yeah, he they um, because they have that C term, their time off is a little bit different and stuff like that. So yeah, he doesn't that's get a, a full winter break like other kids and stuff. Precious summer for you though. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Oh, it's fun. Well, yeah, and and lots of fun, summertime. I we were general, talking well, about you were talking about holding, holding on. on. Yeah. So apparently, the last bit of snow, and now there's some contesting of it that there might still be snow left. But the last bit of snow just melted mid July from the big snow farm, right? Yes, from mm -hmm. the big snow farm. So apparently, it's taken this long, and you know, conceivably, we're you know could be. 13 weeks away, you know, 20 well, weeks away from I another don't wanna, I don't want to bring down, but I have heard that it's going to be the same or worse. Mm -hmm. And I don't even know where. But How I do we know this is far in advance? I mean, I've looked at farmers' almanacs. Well, and I, don't I, I will tell I just, you why. Ocean temperatures. Mm. And, and ocean I can tell you now, I was looking at the Doppler the other night when we thought it was going to rain at our stadium. And we were like, it's not going to rain. It's not going to rain. It says it's, you know, we're down to like 17%. It's raining. It's torrential. Yeah. <laughs> and then 10 minutes later, it was fine, but it was like, liars. Yeah. <laughs> well, so... I hope they'll be um, lying about this winter. They think that California is going to have an El Nino because the water's starting to churn mm -hmm. either this winter or next winter. Mm -hmm. As soon as they get an El Nino, our winter will change. Good or back bad? To, no, back, back to normal. To more normal. Mm. So, because it changes the, you know, the warm water and the way the waters flow changes the atmosphere. And boy, if they can get their El Nino, they'll get their rain, and we won't have our hellacious Right, because that's, that's why I read the rain in, on the West Coast, we got the dump. Of and the it, snow it, because and it has to do with the jet stream, it yeah. has to do with the water temperature, and I'm not a yeah. meteorist, right. meteor but still, meteorologist. Oh. So. But you know, the, last year was enough to get you scared about it. In fact, um, yeah, starting to you know already think about roof protections and I don't want to even think about it really but ah. you know <gasps> summer's too fast holding on holding that, on holding that on. first storm next next year I'm I'm in your yard oh, asking on. for that roof right <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah no, no definitely holding on and and this is definitely the summer's been beautiful and warm oh, yeah yeah and got in the water that's sort of like the summer baptism for me swim in the ocean yeah. and I've been able to do that so I want to do more of it um, summer's not over so maybe we can plan some outings yeah. throughout this summer, especially when you get done with you know, maybe the intensity once, of your schedule. And once you get your uh, son get off out, to yeah. school, we'll do something then, late August and have fun. Um, but some day trips. And there's, and there's a lot of things, right? You know, Sandy Beach Rio had oh, you know, yeah. grand reopening. So right. Sandy, you know, right here in our own town. I mean, Hopkins International State Parks are open. So this thing's, you know, if you don't want to like go more than three miles from home, there's also stuff right here. That's Take right. your kids to the Hopkins State Park, you can rent kayaks and canoes, and I think they even have now a little day sail, not day sailors, you know, um, sunfish. Yeah there that you can take out and learn and take lessons. My kids both did boating camp there yeah. Yeah. when they were young. and um, I'd love to rent a kayak and do a, a Lake Whitehall kayaking tour. Why well, don't own a kayak? So I think they do those things, but you have to bring something. Yeah. Yeah. No, I want to do it with you guys. But it's pretty. It's <laughs> yeah. pretty. Yeah, that's nice. And, yeah. and, <laughs> it's good exercise. and I will yeah. say, when you're Michael and his brother once did, um, and they launched it in Medway, they did the Charles River. Mm. And they had to pick up at the, well, at the Newt Lower Falls. Yep. Come oh. walk around it and then redrop in. Um, both of them capsized in Medway when they launched, and then, <laughs> and then they started again. But um, it was a that sounds full rigorous. Day. And I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't I do it. I just mean a couple but hour we were I was driving <laughs> along like different points, checking in and stuff. Well, the, then the thing about kayaking is it's really cool because you're down there sitting at water level, yeah. and it gets you can get close to shorelines and see things. Particularly the birds right. and the pictures are amazing. It's, you you get yeah. a different perspective. I love kayaking, actually. Completely, mm -hmm. um, and it, and it's quiet. So like, you get yeah. to get to get closer to some of the things going on. I feel confident in a kayak. You know, um, I don't want to be in the open sea with a kayak. No, but, you know, in terms of these um, lakes and and rivers or whatever. Yeah, I really like to do that. Uh, no, like that's that. it's, it's to the people. Well, and thing. even you know, um, even just taking it in Duck Pond. You can launch there yeah. and it's not very long 
but with the water lilies, you get the frogs, you get the birds. It's really pretty. So do you um, have to carry it into there? Well, we used to, um, well, you can, there's a place to park and then you can put it. But we, when the kids were younger, we had a kayak and we just had a little base on wheels so you could put the kayak on your shoulder and the bottom was on wheels mm -hmm. and we'd walk it down the road because mm -hmm. um, we live right next to Duck yeah. Pond. Yeah. Um, and so we would carry it in, but it wasn't, you know, it wasn't that big a deal. Um, so it, it was as kayak, much a deal putting it on the car, driving it down the, right. the, the eighth of a mile, yeah. than it was be able just to walking transport them, right? Because when yeah. you go, when you use, we have a rack, yeah. yeah. But it, well, we keep it at the lake too, yeah. Oh, right? Yeah. So but you you really live in vacation land. Truth you do. Well, that's like yeah. a campground to me. Well, it's but yes, yeah, that's what's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> that's what's wonderful. Yeah. It's summer, summertime. No matter where you are, yeah. it's always wonderful. Um, Lyme disease is rampant. <laughs> so um, make bug sure you don't know, bug, bug spray, sunscreen. You know, take care of yourselves. Well, I mean, water we, safety too. Yeah, There's a lot safety. about you know. Be smart with your kids around water safety. Be Drowning smart with yourself isn't around water safety too. Yeah, it's like, exactly. You think you're okay and stuff like that. There's whether you're here or other places, things happen. Yeah, absolutely. But, uh, but on that down note, um, up to summer though, and yeah. and summer fun and and having a good time. Let's keep it going. Yeah. Cheers, Happy ladies. Summer. Cheers. Happy summer. All right. Thanks See for you guys joining soon. us. Bye.